This is the second video <clears throat> of psychic medium Cheryl Murphy, who is a stand-in for Thomas John in a two-hour gallery session in late September 2023. And it was supposed to be two hours long. Thomas John does his first hour. The second hour is all of a sudden a different psychic. And he says, I'm out of here because he says, I quote, my thing that came up unquote so we're left with this other medium now this is my second video that talks about cheryl murphy doing her it shows one of her readings um i called it what a lot of hooey because that's exactly what i thought whenever i watched the video so we're going to watch another one i do find these really valuable and i i hope you do as well to watch them in succession especially if you do them watch them in order because then you can see um their style you can see if if they tend to do kind of the same kind of readings if it's like formulaic or if it, each one is unique uh, it, it's just interesting to be able to see them done this way so i had never heard of cheryl murphy before she appeared on my screen during a Thomas John gallery reading. And now that we've done one, let's do the other one. I have seen this reading um, because I was at the event. I was sitting there on Zoom watching this whole um, two hours, two hours plus. And I do not remember Cheryl Murphy at all. I just... I feel like she made so little impression on me that I didn't, um, I, I just don't remember what she says. So we're going to watch this one, just like I did the last one where she read Teresa. This I'm going to call, him. it's a guy, I'm going to call him Guy, because his first name is actually quite, uh, it's a bit unusual. So I'm going to call him Guy. And so she's going to read Guy. And let's let's find out what she what she has to say all right because we're all on a journey here at least i am and you're along for the ride to learn about mediumship and learn all about this kind of thing so come through i feel like i have to read a gentleman now is there a gentleman on the call i just heard read about read a gentleman hi graham uh may i hi may i ask you to unmute yourself and uh let's Let's see what sure. your question is, please. Hi. Well, my mom re recently passed in October, and I'm just wondering, um, I spent probably the last two weeks with her by her side, and uh, wondering if uh, she's well and with my father and uh, our extended family on the mm -hmm. other side. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to try to focus on a psychic question for you, okay, around your mom, but I also heard that there's a birthday right around now, and that because she's talking about a time of celebration. Can you understand that, please, Graham? Oh. My oldest son just had his birthday. Oh, perfect. So it, in some way, your mother would uh, want, want, you, want you to focus on that. And also, she mentioned, are you, um, are you, are you building something at the moment? Are, are you building? Are you, I don't know, renovating, working on something? And With my business, um, okay. with, with my business, we're looking at going nationally. So. Oh, fantastic. Well, congratulations. It's a bit of a big project. That's Thanks. a big, big project. Yeah. Uh, uh, so when I get your parents, because I know that they would be together, is that right? I don't want to just right. say, mom, I, I all of a sudden parents come out. Uh, yeah. But once again, and you did take care of her, please, you mentioned, and in her passing as well. And even right. after her passing, which was so much more important is what she says, like, it was really a lot of work after I passed. I yeah. don't know what that's all about. But, you know, maybe just taking care of the, that's what we, the things we have to take care of. And that somehow uh, you're, you are much more organized than her. And I just feel like she taught you some, something about organization or staying organization and that, uh I want to say you're her hero because you did a lot of things that maybe her husband would do, or of course a strong son would do, but that she's talking about you, uh, you did all the talking for her, that advocate feeling, is that right for all the doctors and having to, yeah. and that was a yeah. real struggle, she says, it was a real struggle because, you know, I just feel like you weren't even getting the answers sometimes, you know, I mean, right. 
they not give how could they not give my son the answers and uh, i mean it is it's a hard it's really hard to communicate uh how much we love our want to take care of our family but you knew she was ready to go she go, says she goes you knew i was ready to go yeah we just weren't getting straight answers from the doctor and there was too many of them involved so they yeah. kind of shook them up a little bit yes yeah that you knew she was ready to go and that you the two of you had talked about that or she had mentioned mm -hmm. that to you she had said mm -hmm. that to you like i'm good whenever it comes my time i'm good and i'm getting chills all over i don't know if you know someone named rose please or there could be a rosalind or rosemary it's like an ro name i do feel it to be female um and if you don't know that Graham, just think about that it may come through later uh but i want to uh finish uh, you know, uh, your mom, she's very much an optimistic Graham, and I want to say the best is yet to come. And I don't know if you're getting a new phone or a new telephone. She's like, you need a new phone. Uh, if you understand that, it's like you're the one you're using isn't working or it's outdated or old, as they say. Can you understand that, please? Well, I'm always due for an upgrade. It's just a matter of whether um, you get it or not because it feels like uh it's hard for you to let go is what she says it's hard for you to let go of things you know yeah. and i just want to tell you psychically because your mother does come through in many ways but i know the rainbow is a big sign for her okay and i want to say that look as even though you're moving your company nationally there's still a lot of travel ahead of you is what i want to say your mother's almost like you've got to make time for yourself because you're very much the caretaker role and it's kind of we have to really work to get out of that role but she's kind of pushing you out the door saying travel and travel far away travel far away uh yeah. like i don't know if you go to third world countries but you really go f great distances like i don't know do you understand that please my company's global so okay uh, yeah. And also, I want to say that uh, I do feel this with your company, Graham, that you do a portion that goes to charity or you take a portion for nonprofit or, you know, how they are doing that these days, right? Or, you know, if you... Yeah, had... there's a lot of philanthropy relative to the Thank things you. that I'm involved in, absolutely. So I want to tell you that your direction in life is only upwards. It's like layer upon layer upon layer. You know, when you do good work, something great happens. When you do good yeah. work, something great happens. So just it's like that, you know, it's only going up and really focusing because there's so much more love coming to you in your life. Just to tell you, mm -hmm. it's almost like um, new people come into your life that remind you of your family, uh, things like this that happen, those deja vu moments. Uh, but please know that. I don't know why yeah, I get Egypt you. with you so strongly, Graham. I get Egypt. I don't know why. Do you understand that? Or is that a place you want to travel to? I want to travel to, but I don't have my bags packed just yet. Okay. You may not even need bags. I'm not sure, but it seems it's come through twice now since I've been talking to you. So I just had okay. to mention it. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. All the best. And remember that rainbow is a sign from your mom. Right. Okay. But I keep wanting Appreciate to say that. your parents, once again, they, she comes to me and says it's parents, not so much. Great. Thank you. Yeah, I was really close with my dad. Um, oh, good. And I've given all the eulogies in our family and, and oh. she was obviously, a, that was a difficult one to do. What a heartbreak. Yeah. Well, yeah. lots of love to you and to her and your family. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Appreciate it whoa whoa <laughs> you guys enjoying this i'm dying to hear what you guys have to say i'm doing these videos i'm learning a ton every medium is different their whole style is so different I'm very curious what you guys are going to say i took some notes i i can see why when i heard this the first time see we were trying to decide who's this person so we're looking her up in real time while she's on the screen and we're saying is hot reader cold reader what the heck's going on and so we're looking up these people on social media like we would with thomas john because that's what we do thomas john's talking to somebody we look them up and we can find their facebook page and we go through their you know and we google and get their obituary for their not them obviously but for any obituary they're named in and we have all that information with us, like we're we're chatting, and there, oh, here's this guy's um, um, mom's pay uh, obituary. Here's his Facebook page. Here's you know we're we're looking at it, 
And then you're listening to Cheryl and she's not hitting anything that's on that Facebook page or the obituary, anything. I mean, nada. She is not hot reading, no hot reading. And the cold reading in this, some of the worst I've ever seen. Now I have seen some bad cold readings. So she's right up there with all those other ones. I, I, I don't know if she's the worst, but I've seen two videos from her. It absolutely did not stay in my mind at all. She's telling me things. I can imagine if I was sitting there getting a reading from her, I'd be like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Can I get out of this? This is obviously bunk. Right. So I, I'm reminded of something my very good friend Janice Boynton says whenever she has sat in for these cold readers. And she's there's a few interviews where Janice and I will sit and go through these videos together and talk about them and in this case um oh i'm saying i'm sorry so janice says that it feels like these cold reader mediums are making up a story in their head and they're just like just spitting it out just whatever you know oh, it's rainbows i see rainbows and you know just whatever's on their mind like they're storytelling like they're making up a story and they're just creating a fictional background for the characters that they're designing and it, it it's just free association i guess is a good way of saying it like a writer would be doing um who's writing something that is not uh factual which is exactly what seems to be going on so this guy, his mom died very recently. Apparently a birthday's coming up. That's a common trope with psychics. They say a birthday's coming up. Well, that's nice. I'm sure it's somebody's birthday today. <laughs> tell me, tell me what, whose birthday's coming up? I, I want the sitters to start taking some accountability here, you guys. Why, why don't they just say, well, whose birthday? Coming up? Not past? You know, ask, ask some questions. But they don't. They're motivated and they're afraid that if they ask questions, the psychic's going to go, I don't think I'm really with you. I'm moving on to the next person. Um, so that's what they do is they try to make excuses for the medium and they just kind of like, yeah, okay, there's a birthday coming up. What does that even mean? Coming up next month, two weeks, two days, two months. What does that mean coming up? Whose birthday? my birthday the dog's birthday mom's birthday dad's birthday one of the other siblings birthday it means nothing it means she's making it up but when you're in a in that emotional state sitting there listening to this your mind is racing like oh wow birthday there must be a birthday coming up well there's only 12 months in a year 52 weeks so if you're going to give a grace period of four weeks that's a good chunk of uh time there right anyway lots of lots of psychics do this i have uh, at least a few videos of people talking like this john edward does this oh my gosh there's a birthday but he'll make it sound like it could have been a birthday in the past or in the or in the future so he's got like he's got two months covered maybe even longer so you can tell that this guy really wants to share he wants to talk. He wants to, um, you know, do more of a um, a narrative. He wants to overshare. And she keeps kind of cutting him off like she's in a hurry. Um, so mom is telling Cheryl that her son is more organized than she is. He already said he had a business. He says he has a business. It's an international successful business and mom says oh yeah he's more organized than i am and then cheryl adds something about him learning it from her and that and if he's running an international successful business he's probably pretty organized so that's not much of a reach you are her hero because you took care of her that's just a platitude i wonder if his siblings or other family members who may have been just as involved in her uh, later years, helping her through her health crisis. I wonder if they listen to this, they would be hurt that mom is saying, oh, well, this 
you know, this brother of ours, he's getting all the credit for it. But, you know, I took her to the majority of her appointments. I handled, I had to change her. I had to take care of her feeding bag. I had to change her colostomy bag. I had to, you know, going on and on and on and saying, you know, all he did was read some of the prescriptions and, and make sure and fill her little prescription tray and took her to a couple appointments. You know, I'm really hurt that mom uh, is saying that he's the hero. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? That, that Cheryl's, Cheryl's just freelancing with her, her mind there when actually there's, you know, that's pretty harmful if somebody else hears this reading and every person who paid to go to this event got the same video of all two plus hours that I have that you're watching. They gave me this video. I didn't record this video that you're looking at here. They gave me this video. So he's got this video. He can replay it over and over and show his family and all the other people on the, I mean, they can watch everybody's, everybody's um, reading. So, you know, you think about it, I'm blurring these people out. That's more than what uh, what the other people are doing so he says he's a builder and um he worked with the doctors so he's going on and talking about this so as soon as he starts talking about how he's he's a builder then she starts talking about how oh yes you were um you were fixing things around the house like you know uh, my husband would have done that's kind of an old trope isn't it and so <laughs> Um, yeah, she, she mentions that after he says that, uh, he's, he's a, you know, handy kind of guy. He does work around the house. So I felt like I'm talking to Suzanne. Uh, this is a Suzanne Northrup thing. Cause she's always bringing up Rose. So here we go. Rose, Rosalind, Rosemary, anything, make a, make a hit. Uh, don't worry about it. Think about it. It'll make sense later. Move on. you guys goodness gracious rose rosemary and rosalind would be all names associated with somebody who's probably the generation of his mom now i wanted to point out remember you and i we are watching a video that's a gal not a gallery it's a speaker video so as they speak they come up on screen and we can see them and when the other person speaks, they come up on screen. This is how the Zoom settings work. But what's really happening is the guy and the psychic can see each other. Probably the whole time. Or she can at least, if she's got him pinned on the screen, she can see him the whole time. The whole time. So if she starts saying Rose, Rosalind, Rosemary, and he kind of looks like, Hmm. And he makes those kind of expressions. We can't see it because he's not saying anything. So he's not the main uh, image. We don't know what he's. So if he's making those kind of faces, she's like, oh, man, I better just move on. And she moves on. Think about it. It'll make sense later. I remember John Edward used to always say, bring your family tree. And then he would make the excuse. He'd say, if I didn't get it, well, then go home and ask or fill out your tree further or something like that. In other words, it was your fault you don't remember. It's your fault, guy, that you don't know who Rose Rosalind or Rosemary is. It'll make sense later. Hey, maybe it's Rosemary and it's actually what was supposed to be in your in the roast beef you were making. Okay, mom has come back to communicate with her loving son, who's a hero. From the great beyond, here is mom. She has this message that she wants to give to her son, her beloved son, who repaired the house for her, who helped her with her medications, who listened to the doctors, who was just this amazing hero of hers. And her message from beyond is, hey, you get a new phone? And he says, well, I'm always ready for an upgrade. <laughs> he 
you can't make this up, you guys. This is like a comedy routine. If somebody were to tell you that this is what readings were actually like, people wouldn't go to readings. Not not intentionally. They would unless they wanted a good laugh. They it's 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 funny because it's so absurd, but it's not funny because this guy's really in grief and he paid money and has sat here for you know, it's a two hour um, gallery reading. He's taken a two hours out of his time to get an eight minute reading from this woman whose message from his mom, the best she can come up with, all mom wants to talk about, you know, is something like, hey, you got a phone? Send something about rainbows. Okay, that's another trope. And travel far away, like far away, like really far away. And I'm thinking, there's a video I did, did recently about um, predictions and how, how you know, if, you've, if you're really some psychic who can, who can, you know, talk about your future and which is what they all do, even though they say, oh, I don't really make predictions. Oh, yeah, right. When you start watching these videos done in places like this, individual recordings like this, where they don't realize somebody like myself is watching them, then... Guess what? They get really down to the nitty gritty. And she's saying that he should travel far away. Wouldn't it have been nice if maybe she had told us, don't go to the Middle East because there's going to be a lot of unrest. See, what's going to happen is the Hamas is going to start sending missiles over in a surprise attack. And these people that are at this music festival are going to get kidnapped and they're that would have been nice if she'd given us a heads up whether or not somebody had listened to us listened to her is beside the fact if she if that's what she feels she should give them a warning maybe someday if she makes the video and she puts it out there then people will start listening to her and governments will take take um, notice and she'll be the most powerful person in the world how about don't go to Afghanistan on these days because there's going to be this massive earthquake and it's going to kill a thousand people or more and destroy all these buildings. So guy, don't go there to Afghanistan. I mean, those are warnings that are since she's given this reading in late September of 2023, that's what's happened in the last four weeks. And at this moment, we have no idea what's going to happen with the Middle East. No clue whatsoever. I mean, I just was watching the news just a few minutes ago, and you've got these experts on the news that are saying, well, I think this, I think that's going to happen. And then you get this other political um, unrest. You know, Poland just inv uh, just had an election, and then you got the House of Representatives up. We don't know what's going to happen. Why doesn't she tell these things? You know, okay, maybe she's not going to want to tell this guy, but why don't they go on the, and tell us like she does a live feed here look there's cheryl murphy doing a live feed and she says okay here's what's going to happen not only is this person going to be the house of representatives they're only going to be around for about a month and then this is going to happen and then they're, they're going to vote no 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 she would have a good gig on uh msnbc or cnn or fox news well definitely fox news or one of the other ones if she could make these kind of predictions but no nothing no her son's going to get a new new phone. So she talks about him going upwards, that he's doing good works, that he's supposed to be volunteering stuff. There's going to be a love in her life. Something about Egypt. Egypt, really important. But have you ever been to Egypt? Hey, Cheryl, why are you asking him if he's ever been to Egypt or if he wants to go to Egypt? Don't you know? You mentioned it. Mom's telling you. Don't you think mom knows? And then this odd phrase, I wrote it down in quotes, you might not need bags. How is he going to go to Egypt without bags? Is she saying that he's going to fly to Egypt and his luggage is going to be gone and he's going to have a wonderful time anyway? His, his luggage went to Australia, but he went to Egypt. That's what she's trying to say. I mean, what do you mean? You might not need bags because he says, my bags aren't packed. And she says, well, you might not need to have bags. What does that mean? 
I don't know why they don't question that kind of stuff. And then at the end, you can see the guy wants to keep talking. And he's like, well, my, I was very close to my dad because obviously he really wants to hear from his dad. And he says, I was very close to my dad and I gave the eulogies and, and this was really hard to give my mom's eulogy. It was very, and she's like over it. Cheryl's like, oh, that's really nice. You know, bless your heart. Time to move to the next person. Next. I mean, that's her attitude. It's like, oh, yes, yes. That is really, oh, my goodness. Wow. You know, that's, that's, it's, it's so see-through. I mean, she is so different from Thomas John, but there's, you just, at the bottom, you just don't feel any empathy at all coming out of her. She just feels like she's just, well, I'm doing a favor for Thomas John just came in and I'm doing my thing and whatever. Just doesn't, well, I don't know if she was really a medium, would she have any empathy? I don't know. You know, supposedly, supposedly they um, can fine tune this, this uh, power they say that they have. Okay. So that was video two. Um, I'm going to try to do a few more for Cheryl Murphy, because I think it's really interesting to see, does she keep off or does she keep doing the same kind of style? The first video she did, first reading she did with Teresa, it's already up on my channel. And I call it what a lot of hooey. And I, um, I already see some similarities, but I'd like to go and do a couple more readings with, with Cheryl, listen to her and see if we can pick out a few more of these of like a pattern <clears throat> because that's kind of how you get you feel like there's a pattern to how they do the ring so let's see if we can pick up on it because this is really the first time i've ever really spent any time with cheryl i hope she's enjoying my channel something tells me she won't ever see it and if she does she will not be happy so if you guys would be so kind please like this video if you've made it this far into the video i assume you've like you like this content please hit like please um share please leave comments i try my best to to respond to everything and please share um please subscribe to the channel and there's a little bell you can put in there that that i know a lot of you have got that bell hit because that alert because as soon as i upload a video i I hit refresh and after a minute or two, I see that they're starting to see one. Here comes another one. People are watching these videos. I really appreciate it. You guys, that keeps me going. So let's see if we can keep growing. And a lot of people to educate out there. And I'm learning. I'm the first to learn. So thank you all.